Okay, today we are doing the final review of the Bird Catcher Pro X. And we have previously done a review on the Bird Catcher Pro, which is what Trig is playing with now. Bird catchers are um, cat wand toys, and their original one um, is like a fishing rod where you can, un you know, um, take it apart here in the center, which I'm not able to do one-handed at the moment. Um, and then it has these various attachments um, made of feathers. Uh, this one is their guinea fowl. They have um, two other versions, one with peacocks and the other with goose feathers. So the difference between the, the Bird Catcher Pro and the Bird Catcher Pro X is that the Pro X is completely retractable. So we got this canister of their feather refills. We got two canisters, but one went to my brother's house. And I have all of the refills in here. So those are the goose ones. And whoa, this my friends is the Pro X. And what makes it different is that it's retractable. So, in order to um, <laughs> open it up, all we need to do is pull it out slowly. Just kind of make sure that it's taut once it's pulled out. And you can see that I have expanded it fully to a full-size wand. Wand, 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 wand. So, Charlie and Trig went outside today, but... Um, They've only had, ooh, careful wubbies. They've only had one meal. And so I thought if I, oh, he's gonna hightail it out of here. Um, I thought if I got them kind of energetic, then we might, they might eat a full can of food. In the winter, they don't seem to wanna eat as much. So when we originally got the uh, Bird Catcher Pro, they sent us ones that have, um, non-elastic strings. This one's an elastic string. Um, it's not a deal breaker for me, but I really prefer the non-elastic string because I can't, I just, if I pull away from Triggy, whoa, somebody says so much on my bird catcher pro. I ain't such a pro and I'm a bird catcher. I'm a bird catcher. Oh my God, that was awesome. <laughs> Chiggy more of that, please. I'm gonna get this one. Let me get these ones while I'm waiting for the other ones. Freaking cat's awesome. Why are you so freaking cute, man? I've got another one over here. What the heck was I saying? Bye. See you later. That happens a lot. I don't remember what I was saying before when Charlie started hauling this away, but this is a perfect example of something I wanted to talk about in the video, so thank you, Charlie. Um, you do not want to leave any cat toy, really, um, but especially these interactive cat wand toys um, so that your cats can get to them. Charlie, I used to keep them on my mantle, but Charlie went on my mantle and knocked everything off of it and um, caused some things that were really important to me to have some chips and stuff in them. So um, definitely keep them out of your cat's reach. And this is one of the huge advantages of this retractable wand toy is that you can condense this down into nothing, store it in that container that I showed at the beginning of the video, and put it in a closet. Um, however, when the cat wand toy is one full wand, you gotta figure out some other place to put it. Um, I put mine on top of the fridge right now. But that's why I love, love, love this retractable wand one. And also they've improved, this is so lovely, toilet in the background. Um, they've improved this gripper on it. It's, it's really, really nice. And I've had some people tell me that other wand toys um, don't have a nice grip and their hand hurts afterwards. So we're going to go back in the other room so we don't look at the toilet anymore. So wand toys are also, I mean, in addition to helping your cat exercise, getting them, you know, in their natural state of hunting 
and pouncing on prey. Um, they, they help with exercise, but they're also great if you're doing a video and you're trying to get your cat's attention or you're trying to take pictures of them. It's a great way to get their attention. Get him, chicka! I do, um, the, the wand toy comes standard. I'll include a link to uh, it on Amazon, but it comes standard with two refills. So you're gonna get two of these feather attachments um, when you get it. But I also recommend if you know that your cats like wand toys, you know that they like feathers, like if you've had a bird or something like that, go ahead and buy the five pack of feathers because um, I found that Charlie and Trig kind of go through these and um, the pole isn't hopefully won't be something that you have to rebuy but the feathers um, eventually will you know wear themselves out because they're a natural thing so one of the reasons that I like um, just looking at my notes because I wanted to make sure that I covered everything that I like these feather wand toys is you can really make them move erratically and more like how a bird might move. And so then the cats are a little more attracted to them. I don't know what Charlie's doing. There you are. So where are my charmancers? Gotta get in that hole. I also try to play with them, not on tile floors. I'm doing the tile floor for the video because of the light, but um, they can like really um, slide around on the tile floor and I just don't think that it's nice. And of course, if they leap up and land, that's not fair either. <laughs> also, cat wand toys, great advantage of them. Play with two cats at one time. You got more than two cats, but you can get them all involved. There's your challenge. Are you watching this video because you have this and your cats love it? I want to hear about it in the comments. Tell me things that, um, about cat wand toys that I have left out of this video that are important to cover. I'll also include a link to our review in the about section. I think I mentioned I'll include a link to where you can buy these on Amazon in the about section. Switch hands. All right, I'm going to go over there. <laughs> Another great thing that you can do is if you have some old newspapers or like um, the weekly ads for the grocery store, for example, lay them out completely flat on the ground and put um, the toy underneath it and then like slowly pull it out from underneath and they'll go nuts because um, I had one of those, but trash day was yesterday. And so I can't grab one of those, but they'll go nuts um, with the paper pouncing on it because there's something moving underneath the paper. Uh oh, Charlie's off and running again. It's getting kind of caught up. Let's, we'll, take, we'll take this opportunity to show this up close now. Chiggy. Um, yep, can't do that one handed right now. So it's four feathers and then it's got that additional blue feather to probably just for um, human visualization. Might be for cat visualization too though, dark and light. So that's what it looks like up close. And then it's got these swivel hooks that you see, you know, more on um, fishing <laughs> fishing lures and stuff like that. And then, so this is the attachment portion. And then this is where you connect it. Again, 
reminiscent of fishing lures and whatnot. All right, guys, here we go. <laughs> what you got? She said, don't touch my bird catcher pro people. I got it. You freaking got it, man. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna do the peacock one, and you can see that the peacock feather uh, is in the middle of two guinea fowl feathers. And um, it also comes with this little uh, case that you can put it in. So if you wanna use that, I much prefer the five feather refill canister, because then it keeps everything nice and tatty in one little spot. Bub, doing that stuff and making me want to give you kisses. Make me want to give you what your kisses. Charlie, epitome of how a ragdoll plays. I just lay here, bring it to me, and then I will pretend like I am really playing like a cat. ceiling. I don't want you jumping too much up there. Let's see if I can get him down. I bet this will create a flying leap. Yep. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Jesus. You can see I'm really pulling on it and it's really bending. <laughs> he eventually let go. But you can really pull on it. Oh, oh, Chiggy! Dang, man. Oh, I'm watching that. <laughs> let him rest for a little bit. Uh, we've had a lot of people recently having issues with dry food and cats. And, and if you know anything about me, you know that I no likey dry food for kitties. Um, and one of the big things when it comes to transitioning your cat off of dry food to wet food or raw is to, um, if they're not interested in eating the wet food or raw, is to exercise them like this so that it builds an appetite. And it's certainly something that we did when we were uh, transferring or transitioning Charlie and Trig from dry and wet food to just wet. Okay, Chi, I'm gonna reduce it down so we can put it away. Whoa. All right, so to reduce it down, I just start at the, the one end the end by the gripper. Oh, hey, scary. Oh, Chiggy, careful. It's scaring at Chiggy do. Okay, so that's, I mean, it literally reduces down to nothing. And then, um, show you how it fits into this little thing. And then to put the feather inside the little canvas pack, I always uh, do this end first to get it to go down and then you can just do all the string and whatnot after that cheek it's all done you're not playing anymore cheek and there you have it it's all packed away the bird catcher pro x extendable interactive cat teaser toy i uh definitely like this one 
more than the pro the pro one's great but for me for storage purposes based on what i told you earlier about my mantle situation um i definitely like this one better okay and i'm gonna put it away in this uh canister because again i said that was easier for us if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Chiggy's like, hey, man, I was doing some acrobatic work there. Please give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.